What's up guys, The Fighting Therapist here, and for today's video, I'm bringing you guys a home workout. This is gonna be one of many for the week, along with some stretches and mobilities, so don't forget to stay tuned for that. Just to make sure that everyone's up to par, and just like I am up to par when it comes to taking care of yourself, before we jump into the video, make sure that you guys are following the World Health Organization guidelines when it comes to taking care of yourself, making sure that you're staying away from your grandparents, elderly people, because they're more at, at risk for getting this COVD-19, and also make sure that you're following the procedures for yourself. So washing your hands, making sure you're not touching your mucous membranes, your nose, your eyes, your lips, and everything like that, so you do reduce the chances of getting sick. Due to everything being closed and due to just you guys going outside, you wanna make sure that you're safe and you're following those guidelines. Since I'm not a doctor, I'm not gonna give you guys what to do. Follow their guidelines, and that's what you're gonna to do to stay safe. So because of this virus, guys, we're taking a break from the series that we've been doing already when it comes to how to work out and train everything like that. If you aren't subscribed to the email list, it's down below in the link below. So that series is gonna take a pause just because of what's going on, but we're gonna start doing a lot of workouts at home, stretching, mobility routines, hit workouts, cardios, what you guys can do in your house at home so you are still training and getting those gains. Before we start, don't forget guys to hit that like, subscribe button, that notification bell so you guys do know when these videos do come out. So we're gonna jump into the workout right now. It's gonna be a full body workout, two to three rounds, and every exercise you're gonna be doing for about one minute. So you do one exercise, you go into the next one, you go into the next one. There's gonna be four circuits. So in every circuit, you got roughly three to four exercises. Once you do each exercise, take a little break, you, read that, you redo that circuit for two to three times, you move on to the next one. For this workout, I did film for you guys some progression. So if it's too hard, you guys could go to the easier one so it's easier for you. And as well, because now that we don't have a lot of progressive overload, right? So it's not like we can go bench press a plate and a half. We're gonna have to play with the two other factors. So it's gonna be eccentric training and metabolic stress, right? So really getting that burn, really pushing it as hard as we can. So everything in today's workout is gonna be based around that. For circuit run, we're gonna start with handstand push-ups. So you're gonna go up to a wall, you're gonna go the other way. So you're not gonna kick your feet up, you're gonna walk up the wall, you're gonna place your hands roughly a little bit more than shoulder width apart, just like you would if you're doing an overhead press or bench press. You're gonna contract your core so your lower back isn't arching, and you're gonna come as low as you can and come back up. Of course, if you're wearing shoes, you're gonna have to walk a little bit up with your feet. If you're wearing socks, your feet will slide up on the wall and you're gonna go for roughly a minute. Now, of course, this is very hard to do for a minute. So the regression for this is going to be a pike. So you're gonna grab a little bench, you're gonna put your foot up, you're gonna make a nice L, you're gonna make sure that your head and your body is down and you're gonna go for handstand push-ups that way. And then the last regression for this, which I did not film guys, but it's a simple one, it's a downward dog stretch and you're just gonna do the handstand push-ups there. So that's gonna be the regression, and as the minute goes on, you guys are gonna go um, as many as you can do on the wall, as many as you can do in the pike position, and then as many as you guys can do on the downward dog position. Next one, it's gonna be squat to half squat, and that's just one rep, right? So the goal here, you guys are gonna go roughly shoulder width apart, just like you would in a normal squat. We're gonna keep our hands out in front, we're gonna anteriorly postate, uh, uh, rotate our hips. We're gonna come down, and now we're only gonna come as low as we can, right? Before we get that little butt wink, we're gonna come right back up, halfway, back down, and then back up, and that's just one rep. And we're, go, we're gonna go for roughly one minute. This one is gonna burn, guys, and we're also working at that weakest point that we all have in a squat, which is that bottom position coming up. So we're really putting a lot of emphasis on that little portion with that half squat and back up, really trying to get that focus on the glutes and driving up so you feel it in your butt. The next exercise is gonna be inverted row. Now people are like, oh, I can't do an inverted row, I don't have anything. Yes, you do, guys, okay? You're gonna grab a broomstick or any type of wood that you have. I used to do karate back in the day, so I have like my big bow. You're gonna put it in between two chairs. You're gonna come right under the Bar and you're gonna do inverted row. It's the same thing just like you would in the gym. Barbell with two things, you got two chairs, you got your stick, your broomstick, whatever it is, and you're gonna do your inverted row. Again, we're going for roughly a minute here. And on the last one, guys, is gonna be a leg raise. So that what we wanna make sure we're doing here, hands are by our side. We posterior, posteriorly rotate our pelvis so our back is nice and flat on the ground. We're gonna lift up, 
But when you guys see me lifting up, if you pay attention to my hips, you see me rotating more and really get that contraction in my lower abs, right? That's what we want. If you just lift your legs up, you're just using your hip flexors. We really want the lower core and rectus abdominis to be working at that end portion. So we're really squeezing at the top and coming back down. Circuit two, we're gonna move to push-ups. Now to make the push-ups a little bit more difficult, we're gonna elevate our feet. So you could do this on a bench. If you're at home, you could do it on a couch. You could do it on a table. You could do it on a chair. You're gonna put your feet up. We're gonna angle down and we're gonna go into a push-up. Now to regress from that, you're gonna do a push-up on the floor or another regression from that, you're gonna do it on your knees. Next exercise is gonna be a glute bridge to hamstring curl. So here we're really trying to get the glutes and the hamstrings to work together, all right? Now the most difficult way of doing this, we're gonna put our hands by our side, we're gonna flatten our back, we're gonna lift our hips up in the air, and we're gonna slide both heels out. The reason why this is so difficult is because you're still trying to maintain that glute squeeze as your feet are straightening out, and then we're trying to curl them back in both at the same time. If this is too difficult for you, you're gonna do one leg at a time. So that way you have one leg as stability and you have the other leg that's doing the work and you're gonna go back and forth. This next one, the back squeeze. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna pretend that you're benching and you're gonna lay down on the floor. Your feet are gonna be nice and up. And the goal here is you're really trying to drive your elbows into the ground and contract that back. So you're getting the rear delts, you're getting your traps, you're getting your rhomboids. You're really trying to get that squeeze. Trust me, if you're doing this for a minute, you're gonna feel that fatigue, you're gonna feel that contraction. It's a great exercise. And then to end this circuit, we're gonna do a V up tuck, right? So now instead of trying to come and touch our toes, we're doing the same thing. We're making sure our back is nice and flat and we're coming up in a nice tuck position. When we're coming up, we're breathing out, exhaling. <sighs> get that nice squeeze come back down, make sure that when we're extending our body nice and straight, we have that nice hollow hold so our back isn't arching and we're not putting a lot of stress on our lumbar spine. Circuit number three, lat pull down. So how do you do a lat pull down? In the gym, if you can't do a straight arm lat pull down. You guys are gonna put your knees on a towel, on a pillow, whatever it may be. You're gonna put your hands in front as if you were going to do a knees push up, right? So push ups on your knees, you're gonna be in that exact form. You're going to rotate your pelvis in, so you're contracting your core. And all you're gonna to try to do is you're gonna slide out with the hands and then you're gonna slide back in, really focusing on the same movement you would be doing for a lat pull down. You're doing it with your body weight. The next one is gonna be a sumo push up. For this one, we're really trying to focus on the triceps this time. So we're going only halfway, we're on our knees, and then we're driving up and really try to get our body a little bit past our elbows, and we're squeezing those triceps really hard. It's a great way to overload the triceps, um, besides push ups or anything like that, and really get the focus on those triceps and not the chest or anything else like that. Last one is gonna be a bicep curl. This one, we're gonna go back to our broomstick with the two chairs. We're gonna go under the bar, we're gonna grab a inverted supinated grip. And then now instead of pulling our back, our goal is to try to curl our forehead to the bar. That's gonna get a big bicep contraction, right? And it's also overloading the muscle because now we're using our body weight. So we're able to progressively overload this exercise and really get the squeeze on the bicep. Last circuit, circuit number four guys to finish this workout off, we start with calf raises. If double legs are too easy for you, you could start with single leg as you can see me doing here. And then as well, if it's too hard, you could do double leg. Or if within the minute you're like, this single leg is getting a little harder, I'm gonna do single leg and then switch to double and vice versa. The next exercise is gonna be a tricep extension. Here I did it like on a little uh, bench, I'd say, but you guys can do this on your couch, you can do this on your kitchen table, and you could do it on your bedroom, pretty much anywhere where you could extend your hands and bend them behind you. So the goal here is to pretend we're doing a skull crusher. They're called tricep extensions. We're trying to come down and then really force out and squeeze that tricep as much as we can so we can hit that long head of the tricep. Next one is gonna be a plank lat raise. We think that when we're doing lateral raises, we need to move the arm. But at that joint, you can move your body along the joint. You don't have to move the arm. There's different ways of doing this exercise. So we're gonna go in a plank, we're gonna stay nice and tight, and we're gonna try to rotate our whole body along that axis of the joint, really trying to get the lateral delt to go for this one, I would roughly do 30 seconds on one side, 30 seconds on the other side. Last one is gonna be a crunch to the sky just to finish it off. It's gonna be the easier ab exercise out of the other ones we did for the day. And our goal here is to come up, rotate our pelvis nice and down so our back is flat. And we're going to try to come up into a crunch. We're trying to pretend that we're trying to bring our scapulas out forward, right? So we're trying to bring our arms forward and we're really trying to squeeze the upper portion of our rectus abdominis so we get a nice 
core contraction, as well as we're coming up, we're breathing out for a minute. This is gonna burn, it's gonna be pretty tough. So that concludes the circuit, guys. Four circuits, super easy. Anywhere it should take you about 10 minutes per circuit, right? We're doing two to three rounds per exercise. You're doing roughly three to four exercises per workout. So if you're doing a minute at each, that's roughly, right? three to four minutes each exercise times two, eight minutes times three, 12 minutes, whatever it may be. Enjoy it, it's really, it's a great workout. I did it with my photographer and videographer yesterday, Daniel. It was really fun, it pushes you. You're really gonna feel that pump, but we're also doing the proper stuff so that we can still get those gains and still progress through the goal that we want, right? Super easy guys, I'm gonna be back with another video. We got, like I said, mobility, stretching, and more home workouts for you guys to come, especially with all this going on. So stay tuned. It's your boy. That's it, Zach. Punch, headbutt, and elbow.